guys so for today's video i wanted to show you guys how to make ashley from best dress thumbnails since a lot of you guys requested it so the first thing that you're going to want to do is download this app and the name of it i believe is called sketchbook and you can get it on the app store for free then what happens is once you go in the app in this top bar you'll see that there's this tools option it's the second option from the left click on that and click add image and then an image will pop up from your camera roll and you're just going to want to rearrange that image as your thumbnail piece on the white background using two fingers and when you're done click on the check mark. Once you have that the first option is going to go to this layering feature and you're going to add two layers so that we can add the background and you're going to want to make sure you're drawing on one of these two blank layers. Next, you're going to go to the brushes option and choose paintbrush number two and then change the size to approximately 13. I know it doesn't say it here, but that's what you're going to want to go ahead and do and then start drawing your text on your image. So you can play around with the size too because that's what I was doing here. But the way uh, Ashley writes her text is very simple. She just uses like a normal handwriting font and it's very basic. So just play around with writing the text on your thumbnail like so. And it definitely doesn't have to be perfect because she kind of owns this like basic handwriting vibe like I'm doing right here. She also curls her Y's and her G's if that makes sense. So if you want to like do it super similar to her, you can go ahead and do that. Darling, you Now that I have my text down how I pretty much want it, I'm going to go back to this layering option and I'm going to drag this blank top layer below the text we just drew and that's so that we can get the effect in the background that she has. Once she has that, I'm going to go back to the same paintbrush tool but I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger, turn the opacity down about like 10%. And then I'm going to change the color to what I want my background color to be. So as you guys can see, that's just what I'm playing around with right here. Now what you're going to do is just you're going to go ahead and draw the same text, but you're going to do it right behind the image, which is what happens with the layering feature. And you can see that the edge of this brush wasn't really the best for this. So I had to go over and kind of round stuff out, but I did about two layers of this for each word and went ahead and just made sure that it was outlined like so. pretty much finished doing this. I rounded out all the edges and made it look a little bit better and now we're going to go ahead and add the hearts. So it doesn't matter what layer you put this on but I think I went ahead and made a new layer but what I'm going to do is go back to those brush settings from the original image, get that pinky color that was used for the text and I'm just going to draw a V and the way that this brush works is that the V looks like a heart as you guys can see. So I just put those around the image wherever I thought they looked good to make it look like Ashley's thumbnail and this was pretty much the finished result. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a good idea of how to make her thumbnails. I know they're not perfect but just play around with it and practicing the handwriting can make it look super cute and like her thumbnails which are adorable. So thanks again for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!